Seems like yesterday. It's been three years. To the day. It's time for you to move ahead. <laughs> With what? You're young, handsome, available. If I were single, I'd go for you in a heartbeat. In fact, I did. That was a long time ago. Things have changed, I've changed. Ned, I know you're trying to ignore the situation. I'm just tired of women making overtures. I, they must be desperate to go for an old guy like me. <laughs> you're 43. Yeah, but after 40, all the decades run together. What about Brenda Schofield? Oh, you're kidding, right? <laughs> She's cute. The only thing we have in common is that we're both mammals and we walk upright. <laughs> Besides, she reminds me of my great aunt Violet. <laughs> well, I think she's nice. Uh, you never met my great aunt Violet. You're scared. Spending the rest of your life alone? What about your jogging partner, Carol Hawley? <gasps> Sounds like something you sing at Christmas time. Besides, the woman's too forward. I mean, I don't mind somebody who's honest, but she's. Pretty? <sighs> Sort of. Very. Well, she's not my type. I think you like her. <sighs> this is fun. Kate, don't do this. Not here. Not today. Not now. I'm, I'm happy with the way I am. Liar. Look, if you're not going to be honest, then I'm not going to talk to you. <sighs> Fine. Don't talk to me. <laughs> Thank you. For the flowers. They didn't have your favorites. So, I got you these instead. Ned and I live with our daughter Liz in the quiet town of Midway. Come on, buddy. It's crisp and brilliantly white in the winter, breezy and brightly colored in the spring, warm and yellow in the summer. <laughs> but my favorite time of year is the cool and vibrant fall when the earth changes its colors. I met Ned in the third grade. We passed love notes back and forth under the watchful eye of Mrs. Reese. <laughs> I saved every one of them. And there were junior high dances, long walks home after school, high school proms. We married while in college. Liz came along a year later. Ned's career took us to California. He retired early and we settled here in Midway, a beautiful little town for a beautiful little family. History says the town got its name because it was midway between two settlements. People here say it's because it's midway to heaven. Scotty, working hard? Yes, yeah, sir, saving up for my own bike. Yeah, that one's kind of embarrassing, isn't it? Yeah, it's my little sister's. Hey, you want to earn some extra money? Sure. How about mowing my lawn on Saturdays? Sounds great. 20 bucks? How about 30? Are you saving up for college yet? No, I'm just a kid. Tell you what, I'll give you 35 if 10 of that goes into a college fund. How's that sound? Awesome. Sounds great. All right, man, log it up. Thanks, Mr. Stevens. Hit the porch. OK.
Buddy. Now for your morning run. Hey, Ned. Hey, Carol. Looks like you made it a little farther up the hill today. Yeah, a little help for my buddy. How are you? Oh, great. I've just been enjoying the beautiful midway sunsets. Cuddled up with a good book, some dark chocolate. Yeah, me too. That's, that's what I've been doing, catching up on my reading. Except for the chocolate part and the cuddling stuff. So do you have a list, or do you choose as you go? I have a list. Maybe we should exchange lists sometime. Yeah. I can bring mine over on a tray with a casserole. Let me know. It's cute. Come on, buddy. How was your run? It was good, the usual. Make it to the top? One of these days. Bumped into Carol. Every day, she's a strange one. I think she's smart, funny. And blunt. You seem worried. Worried? Who's worried? I'm not worried. Well, I like her. He would. Hey, Lizzie. Hey, Daddy. Sorry to call so early, but... Early? You kidding me? I've already gone out of my morning jog. You know you could sleep in once in a while. Yeah, I tried that one time. I didn't like it. When are you coming home? Uh, tomorrow, after a couple of tests. I just don't know what time they are. I have it written down here somewhere. Yeah, organization never was your forte, was it? Be quiet. I look like a mess right now. I should have never cut my hair so short. Uh, so, would it be okay if, if I brought a friend home with me? Well, um, I was hoping that we could just spend some time alone. Please? Yeah, sure, I guess that's fine. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. Well, I'll see you, what, 5.30, 6, 6, 30-ish at the latest? Yeah, which means 7-ish at the earliest. Ish, I know you. <laughs> I'll see you at 6-ish. Yeah, okay, I love you. And you are my idol, my icon, the symbol of all that is good in the world. Yeah, not to mention the sole source of all your income. <laughs> yeah, especially that. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <clears throat> Did you really pull another all-nighter? Uh, yes. Can I brought you some nutrition. Look at it. It's like a bowl full of vitamins. So did you uh, ask your dad about bringing a friend home? Yep. You're sure he's okay with it? Yep. Cool. Today, maybe you should think about, I don't know, taking a shower, cleaning up a little bit. Mom, <clears throat> no, it wouldn't hurt you to study. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. I'm me. Ooh, that's still good, though. Dad! Lizzie! Oh, hi! Hey. Mm -hmm. How are you? Look at you, looking yeah. good. Oh, no, Dad, my friend. Ooh, sorry. Uh, Dad, this is... Oh. Um, come on. <clears throat> um, this is, this is my friend. Come on. <laughs> this is my friend, David Markham, and this is my dad. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. I oh, look at that view. That is amazing. Dad and I like to sit out on the deck. It's always cool up there at night. Yeah, it's a perfect setting. You must love it here. Yeah, it's been comfortable. Hey, you guys, I made some dinner reservations, but they're not for a few more minutes. You want to sit down and we'll just talk? So, um, David? Yes, it's David. Where are you from? Greenwich, Connecticut. Do you know the Mitchells? Uh, I went to high school with the Melissa Mitchell. Yeah, that's their little girl. Do you know the parents? Uh, David's actually a senior. He's going to be graduating this spring. Really? What are you studying? I've got a double major in history and philosophy. Oh, that's too bad. I'm not going to be able to find a job with that. Dad, <laughs> David's actually planning on going to medical school. Is that right? Yes. I'm thinking about being a pediatrician, you know, for the kids. He's actually going to Yale, and uh, Harvard and Johns Hopkins are after him, too. Oh, stop. <laughs> so where'd you say we're having dinner? I didn't. Liz and I come here all the time. Yeah, everything on the menu is amazing. That looks good. And it's on me. Well, thank you, Mr. Stevens. Call me Ned. I will. Ned. Welcome to the Snake Creek Grill. Can I get you something to drink? Um, just waters all around would be great. Thank you. 
Okay. So how long have you guys lived in Midway? Um, since I was 10, when mom was diagnosed with cancer, dad sold his business to take care of her. He came up here and he built her her dream home. She loved it. So what business were you in? Uh, consulting, restructuring businesses mostly. <laughs> Dad's being modest. He helps tons of businesses. He even wrote a bunch of books. Oh, no way. I'd love to read one. Really? Yeah. Have you had a chance to decide? Yeah, yeah, we have. Oh, great. Probably. Um, may I have the blackened chicken salad? Oh, that's my <clears throat> favorite. This salmon looks yummy. Perfect. Um, I'll have the pork. Okay. okay. Thank you. So I finished that marathon and just said, I gotta start training for the next because I wanted to improve my time. And what was your time? Well, for me, it's not about time, but I did qualify for Boston. So it, it is about time? Well, not really. It's more about the enjoyment. So what does your dad do? Uh, it's hard to say. He's kind of got a lot of irons in the fire. What do you like to do? Everything. <laughs> That's my problem. <laughs> a jack of all trades type of thing. A master of none, huh? No, he does everything well. No, oh, she exaggerates, but you probably know that about her. Yeah, I'm her dad. No, really. I mean, he was a sports star in high school, choir, newspaper staff, debate team. He even was a counselor at a Christian youth camp. Choir, huh? Alto, soprano? No, I was a tenor. Really? Because I'm a boy. So, as you moved here when you were 10, you said? Yeah. Um, when we moved here, Mom was, she was pretty sick. You know, she's going through chemo and radiation treatment. It must have been really difficult for you. Yeah. You know, she went into remission a couple of times, but you could see what was happening to her. Just didn't want to accept it. Especially me. I was, I was a teenager. I needed my mom. I remember the night of my junior prom. She was so excited. Can we talk about something? Dude? No, no. I, I want to tell David. We picked out we picked out this gorgeous dress. And on the night of the dance, all she wanted to do was to see me with my date. She couldn't get out of bed. I never made it to the dance. It shouldn't last very much longer after that. You'll excuse me. Yeah, I just need a minute, that's all. Why does Liz have to tell him all about our personal life? She likes him. I can see that. I can also see right through him. What? Oh, come on, Kate. This kid's too perfect. I mean, he's too good to be true. No, he's just got it together. Sure he does. Star athlete, debate team, pediatrician. Just wait till some kid pukes on his perfect little shoes. <laughs> I don't see the problem. It's all this pretending to be humble. I mean, he... He's got it down to an art form. I think he's the real thing. Oh, come on, Kate. This kid is slick. He is he's so slick. He won't tell me what his father does for a living. He's being ev evasive. Yeah, he's like one of those guys that when you that when you see him, you know right away that you saw the storm last night, too, huh? Wow. <laughs> hey, you take care of your son. Feel better? Nope. All right, you guys. Good night, Liz. I want you in the guest room next to my room. David, uh, there's a storage room downstairs in the bait. I'm kidding. There's a bedroom down in the basement. Well, it's still early. I think we're gonna go downstairs and watch a movie. Uh, all right. Well, just uh, don't stay up too late, okay? Okay. Yeah, no problem, Dad. On the way. So, what are we watching? How about something romantic? I can make some popcorn. What do you think's going on down there? You think we should go check? Yeah, I think so too. Come on. Give me some. Mm. <laughs> Come on, buddy. All right, 
Are you ready to go get him, boy? Here we go. Oh, that got you! Oh, boy! That got all over. Yeah, good boy. This is Ned Stevens. Look, um, I know it's late, but I've got kind of a situation going on over here. Um, do you know the Markham family? Yeah, Gilbert Markham. Um, does he have a son named David? Yeah. What's the emergency, Ned? Well, their son David is dating my daughter Liz, and I'm just not too sure about the guy. This is a prank phone call. No, 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 no. It's just that he, yeah, he seems like one of those kids who's you know, pure as the driven snow, and then it turns out to be something. Hey, if I thought I could get him to date my Abby, I'd, I'd fight you in a duel. Okay. Uh, well, thanks. I appreciate Ned, it. Ned, has anyone talked to you <clears throat> about the grieving process? I'm fine. Good night. What's up, Dad? What are you doing? Well, I was trying to get this speaker to work. Where's David? I don't know. I think he's downstairs. I have a surprise for you. I cannot handle any more surprises. Okay, come on, right Dad. Now. Just give me five minutes. Okay. Just five minutes. Five minutes. Okay. What is this? I sort of signed you up on a dating website. Sort of? Uh, did you have to pay for this? No, you did. Okay, before you freak out, you promised me five minutes. Here's all the women who checked you out. Checked me out? What am I, a library book? Dad. Um. Totally awesome. Oh, 68 years old. Um, that is an old picture. Yeah. Tiger kitten. She's cute. No, she has cats. She, but she's, cats. Okay. Jello, hello. I like her. Next. But too much love to give. Oh, step away from the cake. Yeah, moving on. One hot jogger. You set me up, didn't you? Yeah, you like this one. I'm not going out with Carol Hawley. You know her? He does. Well, you mind your own business. Dad. Sorry. How old do you know her? They're jogging buddies. Please be quiet. I think I hit a nerve. You did not hit a nerve. Well, do you know where she lives? Uh, about three blocks from here. Does she have cats? No, I, I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, perfect. <laughs> no, we jog on the same trail, that's all. Dad, she is gorgeous. I mean, athletic, interior designer. Your five she... minutes are up. I just think it's time you thought about dating again. I date a ton right now. So, this was your big surprise? One hot jogger. Hmm. Well, at least you didn't come out here to tell me that you were marrying Davy. David. Whatever. Deck the halls with Carol Holly. Stop. Hey, look, why don't you go grab uh, David and we'll head into town, grab some food for dinner. Um, well, I think, no, I think we're going to stay here and study. Study? Yeah. Who are you and what have you done with my daughter? Dad. No, just come on, you guys take a break. Let's go. Okay. She is one hot jogger. She's smart and educated. Kate. I know. Okay. All right, here's what I'm thinking. Grab a couple of steaks, take them back, we'll stick them on the grill, dash them in my sauce, grab yeah, some potatoes, Dad. boom, nuke them, what? David doesn't eat red meat. No. Really? I do a little sometimes. What is this, medical or mental? No, uh, you know, if we just threw a chicken breast on them with the sticks, I'd be in heaven. My guy doesn't love a big fat steak, you know, practically raw with the juices dripping off. Hey, you know what we could do? Sometimes on Sundays, my mom gets a turkey and puts it in one of those plastic bags. Super easy and comes out nice and moist. Oh, she has this recipe for stuffing that is so delicious, we actually say prayer after we eat it. <laughs> wow. Dad, doesn't that sound like a good idea? I mean, besides, turkey is so much better for you, and that stuffing sounds awesome. Yeah, we can make sandwiches with the leftovers. Yeah. Yeah, let's just uh, grab a big turkey. Are you sure? Yeah, we'll just find the fattest turkey here, you know, and stuff it. Dad. I'm sorry, dude. Did we hurt your feelings? No, you know, one man's meat's another man's poison, right? What? Uh, look, we'll just find a big fat turkey, we'll bag it, roast it, stuff it, and then we'll fall down on our knees and praise again. Don't worry about him. He gets like this sometimes. Let's just call your mom and see what we need for stuffing. Okay. That was a verbal tantrum you just threw. All because they wanted a turkey instead of a bunch of five pounds of What are you talking about? I got a turkey, didn't I? I'm saying I like David. The more I see, the more I like. But you won't give him a chance. Well, Dudley do right praise before and after his meals. 
He loves her. Well, who wouldn't? I mean, that's not an accomplishment. What I want to see is a sign that this guy's normal, you know? What are you looking at? Nothing. Oh, hey, Ned. My mom's on the phone. She wants to say hi. Yeah, great. Ned? <gasps> Officially gone crazy. <laughs> That's a lot of filling. Guess I know what we're having for dessert Sunday. Ned, you making some pie? Yep. Is that? Yep. Oh my gosh, that's a lady from the website. She's she's beautiful. We can use the pie filling for cakes, for pancakes, funnel cakes. There's all kinds of things I'm gonna use this pie <laughs> filling for. I'm excited actually. Ned. I think you've really talked yourself. You're right. I behave miserably. In fact, you know what? I'm going to make it up to him. Really? Yep, I'm going to buy Humility Boy a one-way ticket back to Connecticut. And he can take his stupid stuffed turkey with him. And the pie filling. Stuffed with pie filling, that's right. <laughs> Carol, Ned here. Ned Stevens? Yeah, um, I was wondering if you wanted to get together and uh, start a book club. Really? Um... By any chance, am I the first person you called? Actually, you were the last person on my list. I just happened to pick it up upside down. Cute. So tell me, Ned, do you like me? What? I like you. Do you like me? What are we, in the third grade? No. But I'm pushing 40, in case you're wondering, and I'm done with subtlety and indirectness. That's cool. Married to his former secretary. I'm sorry, am I giving you too much information? No, 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 that's fine. It's just that since then, I've been on this dating roller coaster, so if I tend to cut to the chase, you can understand why. Ned, do you really want to start a book club? No. Uh, I hate those things. Me too. Uh, look, can we start over? Yes. Uh, hi, Carol. Hello, Ned. I was wondering if you'd like to get together sometime. You mean like a date? Yeah, you know, um, just get together, nothing serious. You know, I really don't want to date you for five years just to find out this was nothing serious. That's fair. Um, how about one date, no strings attached? I can do that. This Friday? Dinner and a movie? Um, how about just dinner? I think I'd like to have some time to get better acquainted. Sounds great. So, six-ish? Perfect. But I, I really did have my heart set on a book club. I'm sure you did, Ned. All right, well, Bye. we'll see you. Bye. Hey, good morning. Do you know what time it is? Yeah, it's, uh... No, no. Do you realize what time it is? Well, I just thought I'd get the turkey in before we went to church. David, church isn't for hours. Yeah, well... I just thought I'd get a head start. David, do you feel like you have to be perfect all the time? I mean, don't you ever want to be... I don't know, what you're... human? Nah, I know what you're saying. I know the impression that I give, but I got my share of problems. Really? Name one. Name one thing that uh, you're struggling with. Just one thing that you can't do better than everybody else. I'm forgetful, Mr. Stevens. I told you to call me Ned. There you go, then. Please. Okay, um... I can't whistle. <laughs> Come on. No, really, I can't. I just can't wrap my head around it. I can make the shape and no sound comes out. Well, a little bit of air, but there's no tune. David. Okay, fine. I'm uh, self-centered and I'm prideful. I dwell on my weaknesses and then I try to fix them. And for some reason, that bothers people. You're not alone. There's a lot of people that don't like me. Look, I didn't say I didn't like you, okay? You know what? Never mind me. I'm cranky in the morning. Sorry, man. Come on. 
Yeah. It's okay. Hey, um, you know what? I really think that we can uh, get to be good friends if we got to know each other a little better. Um, Ned, I love your daughter. Okay. Oh yeah, you know what? You know, what you're thinking right now? It's not a very good thought. So don't, don't, don't think it. Don't let it come out of your head. Keep it in your head because what you're thinking is is not good. Look, uh, David, she's she's too young. Okay. Maybe so, we no, we, maybe we shouldn't. Don't. I can't. Okay, we. I can't. Don't. Hey, Dad. What are you doing in here? I live here. Let's go for a drive. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me just make sure David has everything he needs. He's been working like a maniac. Yeah, your maniac's just fine. happened back at the house well David and I got into a bit of an argument an argument well he didn't argue I did <laughs> he told me that he loved you and before he could say anything else I told him to stop Liz how serious is this thing getting I really like him that doesn't answer my question first tell me why this is such a big deal well because top chef back there just told me that he wanted to marry you and you've never mentioned his name to me before Wait, he really said he wanted to marry me yeah, well I Really? Didn't say it? What per did he se. say? Um, uh, yeah, he was wearing an apron <laughs> at the time, and it, you know, it just didn't seem right to let him continue. Dad, how could you not like yeah, okay. him? He's perfect. No, that's just it. He's, he's not perfect, but he's wonderful and good. I know, I know. He mentioned all that. Uh, he also apologized for not being able to whistle. But I'm sure he'll have that figured <laughs> out by the time we get back. This guy's not normal. No, that's what I thought at first. I mean, he was way too sweet. Well, sometimes your first impressions are right. No, Dad, I was wrong. He's a good person, filled with the love of God. Yeah, and don't forget, angelic, flawless, impeccable, irreproachable. His big fault is he's trying to be the man that God wants him to be. I mean, you'd immediately dislike any guy I brought home, wouldn't you? No. Give me about five seconds. Daddy, you know I love you. But I'm not a little girl anymore. You coming? In a sec. Okay. This the wrong way, didn't I? You asking me? I mean, David's not such a bad guy. He's so annoying and completely wrong for Liz, but he's an adequate guy for someone else's daughter. He's perfect for Liz. I mean, it's, it's natural for a young girl to get blindsided by somebody who's so athletic, perfect, spiritual, and soon to be doctor. She loves him. What I have to do is a little research. I need to get past these surface features and probe the ugly underbelly of the beast. Perfectly natural thing for a father to do, right? Ned, what is going on? I just can't rock the boat right now. I need to play it cool. Bite my time until he slips up. That's what I'm gonna do. Thank you. Oh, hey, 
Liz, here's what I'm thinking for your birthday. Oh, you know what, Dad? That's actually something I wanted to talk to you about. What? Well, I was thinking about my birthday, and I really like what the Markhams do for birthdays. Do for birthdays? Yeah, you know, you tell them, David. Well, it's just something we decided to do. No, I, I know that, but yeah, just, no, David, just talk tell them. OK, we decided to set a price limit for the gifts this year. Wow, that is really admirable. No, Dad, that's not the most important part, Why though. would it be? Um, they also sing at retirement homes and volunteer mm. at soup kitchens. So much fun. Dad, Seeing you cannot believe there. what amazing singers all the Markhams are. Yeah, I bet they're like a regular Von Trapp family, aren't you? <laughs> huh? Well, I sing well. Dad, don't you think that's a good idea? Yeah. No, what I'm thinking is maybe we do one of our old-fashioned, overpriced, self-indulgent, hedonistic birthdays. You know, the kind that we love. Yeah, I, I have everything that I need, though. But I'm sure there's a family at church that can use some things. You know what, Liz? Everybody's different. I say that if your dad wants to give you something this year, you let him. David, that's great. Seriously, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, hey, why don't I meet you guys back here in about two hours? Is that good? OK. Yeah, great. OK, we'll see you. You know, Kate, if I work on that boy, I bet I can find a chink in his armor. And wouldn't that make you proud of yourself? Absolutely. <laughs> Liz? Debauchery. Liz! How can I help you, honey? Uh, my daughter came in here a few minutes ago. Where is she? I have no idea. Hey, hold on. Hold on, honey. Hey, you know what? Don't call me honey. My daughter's not even 21 years old. She shouldn't be in a lousy place like this, all right? No offense. Listen, Daddy, if she's under 21, then she's got a fake ID. You know what? My daughter has never had a drink in her life. Really? And she certainly doesn't have a fake ID. Liz! Elizabeth Catherine Stevens. David and Liz. Liz? Who are you? Just going around making sure everyone's got everything they need. You guys good? A couple drinks would be good. Good. What are you guys drinking? Beer. I'll have whatever. All right. You get a couple of ginger ales from my friends down there at the corner. So. Hey, wait a second. Isn't that your... Daddy? Uh, yeah. See, I don't... Uh, all right. Uh, all right. Um, this is, uh, I apologize, more of a family matter. Well, why don't you tell me about it? Maybe I can help you sort it out. Dad, what, what, what's going on? Is your father? <laughs> you know, I'm beginning to wonder. Okay, here's the deal. I thought she and this young man we're going into the bar, and, and she's not even 21 years That's old yet. That's when you decided to start yeah. yelling. Dad. In fact, I wish I hadn't brought him. What's going on? What are you talking about? Dad, I know you better than anyone. Your mom's been gone three years and you're still talking to her. Sometimes. I just think you need someone in your life. You know, get acquainted with some women. Go out once in a while. That refrigerator is filled with casseroles that have marriage proposals attached to them. So, maybe you should think no, about it. No, it's not even that. It's, I thought I'd have more time. For what? Not time for. Time with you. Me? Yeah. You know, I uh, finally felt like I was starting to deal with your mother's death. <laughs> Dad, you weren't dealing with it. I mean, you're still talking to her. Yeah, but still, I mean, I was comfortable. Then you changed all the rules. What? You see, I thought you were coming home with a girlfriend, and then I see Captain Flawless standing there in the doorway, and I knew that. Everything was going to be different. I resented that. And him. See, I thought I'd have you for another five or six years. You'd graduate from college, do a master's program, do an internship. You know, we talked about all that stuff. Those were the rules. Well, then, yeah, I guess the rules changed. But I think I'm falling in love. Wasn't that one of your rules? Yes, but not this fast. You're supposed to wait. I guess life isn't always predictable. Well, guess not. 
You know, I really think Mom would like David. Well, she doesn't, I asked her. Welcome to Ripples. Uh, hey, Mr. Stevens. Can I take your order? Yeah, can I get a grilled chicken? You're absolutely right, buddy. Scratch that. Jonah, let me get a double bacon cheeseburger, extra patty. Can I get some fries and some onion rings and a chocolate marshmallow shake? Supersize that. Okay, anything else, Mr. Stevens? Um, yeah, can I get uh, two uh, beef patties for my date? Huh? Yeah, trust me. She'll love it. Stevens here. I'm not very good at this. I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to say, but I think I was a bit premature in asking you out. There's a lot going on right now. 
Plus, there's, you know, some other things. Anyway. Sorry. You know, you might think about getting rid of that DVD. Okay. Or at least put it high enough on a shelf that you can't reach for it every time you overload on junk food. I don't really want to talk about this right now. What's wrong with now? I'm a little bit confused. Maybe I can help? I don't think so. Is it Carol? You didn't even give her a chance, did you? I'm afraid. Of? Falling in love again. Afraid that you might be really happy for the rest of your life. You're my wife, Kate. And another woman changes everything. You're trying to hold on to something you can't have. I never thought you would leave me. I didn't leave you. I died. Tell Liz you love her no matter what. And don't push Carol out of your life. What if one day, a whole day goes by, and I don't think of you? Not once. You're better at this than I am, Kate. Not really. supposed to say, but I think I was a bit premature in asking you out. There's still a lot going on right now. Plus, there. Hey, Ned, how's it going? Uh, good, you, Len? Oh, fine. Kind of funny, though. Last week, I had a couple of strange phone calls, and I wonder if you knew anything about them. Me? A counselor from the college called saying that somebody had called him wanting to know some information about one of his students. OK. Yeah. Then, after I got a call from the campus police. What does this have to do with me, Len? Well, both of them said that the guy who called was Pastor Len Nelson from Midway. Huh. I'm Pastor Nelson. Yes, you are. Yeah. I didn't call. You didn't? No. Uh. Now, do you know caller ID? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm pretty sure it's a federal offense to impersonate ecclesiastical leader. Yeah, it probably is. So who's David Markham? Uh, it's this kid who's dating Liz. I just wanted to do some research, that's all. Because? Well, have you ever met a kid who just throws off glitter when he smiles? And you, and you know that he's, he's not everything you think he is. Uh, but, but have you ever met a, a father 
who thought nobody was good enough for his daughter? Yeah, but... Okay. Uh, so you don't like the marketing guy, huh? No, no, no. Why? I don't know, but I'm working on it. Uh -huh. Liz like him? Oh, she's crazy about him. Maybe that's the problem. Not my problem. Hey, uh, so, Lynn, I'm sorry about the phone calls. Forget it, Annette. Of course. Things are good. Yeah. Listen, Ned, if you don't want to go out with no, me. No, no, just... about that message that I yeah, left. Yeah, I just day. it was a little unexpected. Yeah, I don't I'm, know how to Sorry, I'm it. just going through some things right now. Well, we all are. Well, it's not you, it's me. It must be me. It's not you at all, Carol. It's gotta be me. I insist it's me. 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 Ned, you're right. It is you. What's going on? Ready to go? Thank you, Susan. You've been a lot of help. I, I appreciate it. And you're positive you've got no record of a David Markham. No, that's M-A-R-K-H-A-M. You're sure? Okay. No, no problem at all. Thank you very much. That's exactly what I thought. And you have a good day, too. Okay? Bye. You know, someday Liz is gonna thank me for this. I think this is gonna be a bad scene. Better now than later, though, right? Hey, Lizzie. Oh, hey, Dad. This is a surprise. Yeah, I need to talk to you. Yeah, what's up? Um, Are you okay? Actually, I've never felt better. All right. Um, well, uh, I've been doing some checking this week, and uh, I know you think David is a really good guy, but uh, and anything I've done, I've done because you are my only daughter and I love you, but I don't want you to have a life full of uh, grief and your husband in jail. What are you talking about? Uh, David is not who he seems. You know, why don't you just tell me what you need to tell me? Yeah, I'm gonna rip the Band-Aid off. You know mm -hmm. how you said David got into medical school? Well, I checked. What? Yeah, I called David supposed medical school. Why? Well, I wanted to see if he really got in. Why would he lie about that? Because he wants you to marry him. Dad, the... No, you know what? The school's never even heard of him. Well, how did you get this information? Well, because I called the school, and I told him that I was his dad and oh, needed oh, financial... Oh, so you lied to him. No, you th lied that's not to the dad. issue. The issue is that Harvard has never heard of David Markham. That's because you called the wrong school. What? He's going to Yale. Hello? Well, oh, hey, Ned. How you doing? Hey, honey. Our a cappella group just finished singing at the retirement home. Really? Uh, Which one? If I called that retirement home... Dad! No, seriously, David, where were you really? We were at a retirement home, Ned. Is that okay with you? And now I'm gonna ask Liz if she wants to go with me to sing at a hospital. But maybe that isn't such a good idea. No, it's a great idea. David, I love to sing. You know what, Ned? I am sick of you jumping on my case every chance that you get. I don't know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, you do. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You've got problems, okay? You know just, just go home, Dad. Fine. You know what? David, while you're at the hospital, why don't you just swing by the lab? Cure diabetes. Hey, Lizzie, how's the hospital? What are you doing, Dad? Nothing. I'm watching TV. No, what are you doing to me? Nothing. You know what? <laughs> David's a wonderful guy, but you're in the way, and, and I really don't, I don't understand why. 
If you're afraid of losing me, you need to get over it. <laughs> you and David barely even know Dad, don't. Don't make me choose between the two of you. I'm sorry Mom's dead, and I'm sorry you're alone, but, but that's not my fault, and I can't fix it. Liz is right. I knew you'd side with her. They're just kids. You will lose your daughter. I'm not gonna lose Liz. I think you just did. Well, that's not how That's I'm... a woman telling her father to stay out of her life. I'll go talk to her. What are you going to say? I don't know. Tread lightly. Thin eyes. Wish me luck. Just go. Hey, Lizzie, it's, it's Dad. Um, when you get this, give me a call, okay? Bye. Is uh, Liz here, by chance? Mm, no, I haven't seen her. Um, do you know where she is, by chance? Oh, David's at that. Oh, great. Uh, where does he live? If your father can't accept me, then, I don't know, maybe this whole thing is just a bad idea. So we're a bad idea now? Your father is crazy! Just leave, leave him out of this! How can I? You have no idea what he's going through! I didn't sign up for this, Liz. No? What did you sign up for? Us. Daddy? Yeah. I just gotta get my head on straight, you know. Do some restructuring. That's all. I'll come up. That's okay. But first, I just want you to know I'm sorry. And that I love you, Elizabeth Catherine Stevens. <laughs> and I love you, Edmund Stevens. You know, you're funny. Yeah, and I'm cute. Yes, you are.
I think there's hope for you yet. So I'm not a total loss? Not yet. I know what you're getting at, and I'm just gonna need a day or two. Carol won't wait around forever. Thank you. Do you think this is easy for me? No. It's not. Not at all. You didn't bring a casserole? No. Chocolate? No. Jewelry? What? Just making sure you're paying attention. Flowers are nice. Thanks. Uh, can I come in? Maybe. What's up? Dinner? Mm, difficult. My date will be here any minute. Oh, really? No. That was a joke. Mm. So. Dinner, wow, an actual date with Ned Stevens. I'd say please, but uh, it's not like I was baggy. Oh, we wouldn't want that. No. How about one date, no strings attached? I can do that. And after the message you left me, it's gonna have to be somewhere really nice. Can uh, I choose? Yes. The tree room, and I like steak. Okay. And lobster. Fine. Let's go. Right now? Yeah, we've had the longest day at work. And I'm starving. Uh, yeah, all right, let's go. Thanks. Um, I'll drive. So, who are you rooting for in the Super Bowl? No, thank you. I'm kind of full. Ned, as you know, I'm in love with your daughter. Yeah, I know. You can marry her. And I haven't had a lot of girlfriends. I don't know why. It just never appealed to me. I've had lots of girls that were friends. It just never has gone to that next level. Just wasn't right. Oh, that's great. And you can marry her. I think that if you're living your life right, and you meet that right girl, then you know. And I met Liz, and I knew, and I just wouldn't feel good if I asked her to marry me and you didn't feel good about it too. So I'm willing. David, you can marry Liz. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. I love you. That was easy. So when are you guys thinking of doing this? Uh, we want to do it probably around Christmas. Yeah, we were thinking Connecticut. Say something nice. Make him feel good about this. All right. Okay. All right. Um, despite my best efforts, Liz seems to be madly in love with you. Yes, I am. And that's good enough for me. Daddy. David, you're not who I imagined for Liz. You're actually a lot better. 
Thanks, Ned. Nicely done, Ned. Good for you. Thank you. All right, well, I've got a lot to do. So. Wait, I'm, I'm sorry, so are we engaged? Yeah, Liz, pay attention, we're moving up quick. <laughs> so shouldn't we kiss? I'm gonna go. Liz and David are heading back to school. I bet you didn't tell me you were coming over here, did you? Uh, no. But I'm not your secret woman. <laughs> no. Hey, uh, hold on, uh, Liz is calling. Uh, hey, Lizzie. Dad, I'm so glad I caught you. What's up? Okay, so we were almost to the mouth of the canyon when this car, it, it drove right into the river and we'll... David, he jumps in and saves this woman and seven kids. Are you kidding me? Yes, I am. But you totally believed me. No, we just ran over something and got a flat tire and, well, David doesn't have a jack. I could just smack him. Oh, I know that feeling. We're at Junction 27. Can you help us? Yeah, I'll be right down. Bye. Uh, hey, Carol? Yeah? Um, listen, David, you got a flat tire, so I'm gonna go help him. Oh, I'll go with you. That's all right. Just uh, stay there and watch the roast. Ned, if you apologize right now, I might still go with you. My apologies. Accepted. Ned? Yeah? Are you thinking about kissing me tonight? No, it's Sunday. So? The Bible says we should greet one another with a holy kiss. Uh, okay. That's cute. I'll see you in five. Stay in the car. Okay. Hi, Liz. Hi, Carol. I'm Carol Holly. Yes, I know. You must be David. Yes, hey, I David, am. come see if the jack. So, are you two hanging out or? A little. Yeah. Are, you, are you dating? Uh, no, I wouldn't. Yes. Know. Yes. Wow, really? Oh, we are. David, we need to get the tire off. Let's. We should work. What? And she came running into the room and she said, Dad, what do you get when you cross the Atlantic Ocean with the Titanic? And I said, what? And she said, about halfway. <laughs> yeah, and then she asked me what the Titanic was. So, how old was she? Oh, uh, I don't know, four maybe? Oh, it's so funny. Yeah, it was a great memory. Oh, how cute. Hey, does, does sitting here with me make you feel uncomfortable? No. Maybe a little, sometimes. It's different for me. Brian just left one day. I came home and there was a note on the fridge. Wow. Was he having an affair? No. I don't know. I think the real reason he left is because I can't have kids. Oh, I was wondering. You didn't say anything, so. It's not really something that I like to talk about. Did you guys ever think of adoption? Mm, he didn't want to. Something about having his own. Uh, did he ever get his own? Three. Hmm. We don't stay in touch. So, how were you and Kate? How were we? We were, uh... Perfect? Pretty close, yeah. You'll always love Kate. That's one of the things I really like about you. What else do you like about me? <laughs> well, you're tall. <laughs> You've got beautiful blue eyes. You've got a great smile. You've got an all right sense of humor. Yes. Plus, you don't like book clubs. No, I don't. Hey, Brenda Schofield's in a book club. Uh, I can yeah, get you No, in. you know, I'm Again? good. I'm good with, with Brenda. You're I, sure? Yeah, I, no, I, and I don't want that. <gasps> Besides, I think I'm already seeing somebody else. Really? So... Tell me about her. Oh, she's, she's beautiful, independent, strong, doesn't have any cats. Lucky girl. Yeah, is that because of me or the cats? Both, but mainly you. Think so? Definitely. You told me once that you didn't want to date me until I was ready to get serious. I remember. And? How serious do you want me to be? Pretty serious. 
But uh, what about that guy that I've seen you walking around with? What about him? Won't he be, uh, you know, be jealous? Je jealous? Me? Are you jealous? No, I'm, I'm not jealous. I'm, You're kind of a little jealous. I, I, I'm not. But he's my cousin. Really? Okay. Yeah. Good. <laughs> we just hang out every now and then. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. <laughs> so, Ned, do you like me? You wanna watch that movie that we rented? Yeah. Which one was it? Sleepless in Seattle. I'm proud of you. Yeah. Took me long enough. <laughs> so, now you can let me go. Yeah, you could stick around. 
You'll be fine. And Ned, I won't be there when Liz gets married or when she has her first child. And there will be bumps along the way. I won't be there to help, to give hugs, to wipe away tears. But you will. So make sure you enjoy every step along the way. Every precious moment. I will. Sterling Silver Roses. Liz's favorite. For her wedding. Make sure you find Sterling Silver Roses. Okay. Am I interrupting? <clears throat> no, not at all. So are we okay, Ned? Not if you keep asking silly questions like that, no. I'm sorry, David, I, I gave you a pretty hard time, didn't I? You know, you were just looking out for You your know, I, I was out of control. I just needed some time. I really do love her, you know? I know. So do I. Hey, guys. What you doing? Just having a party. I'll be inside. So, Dad, you gonna come join the party? Yes. Yes, I am. It seems like I've watched a million sunsets and stared at a thousand full moons. Sometimes it feels like I've been here forever. And sometimes it all feels brand new I could never count the heartbeats From the day I was born until now But not a single one goes unnoticed By him who breathes life in me somehow But if there were no If I knew that I could not stay I know how I'd spend every minute If I only had today I'd hold you and listen And I'd let the dishes sit in the sink I'd tell you I love you As you quietly sleep, I pray for time to move slowly, knowing the moment won't keep all the gifts that heaven has given, every blessing that's come my way wouldn't be. So if I 